Vice President uh, Schaefer Bryce's congratulations to the scientific team and the editorial team that first executed this client uh, set of work and uh, translated it into a document that uh, the people can refer to uh, in the coming years. Now, the partnership between ADD and, and Erie has been really a wonderful uh, partnership over the, over the years. Going back over our records, we see that um, the first grant from ADD uh, came to Erie in 1975. And there, was a, uh, there have been 30 projects that have been supported by the bank uh, to, to a total of $20 million. And uh, that's a significant investment in Erie's program. I want you to keep that number of $20 million in mind, because I'll get back to that number in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, the, um, certainly, the, the partnership with, with the ADB and Aries is something that I've personally been involved with, something that I, I, I uh, was able to uh, benefit from in my research agenda when I was at Erie as a research scientist and had a real job. We, um, we had a uh, 19, early 1990s, uh, something called the Rain Fed Lowland Rice Research Consortium that was created. Uh, it was funded by the Asian Development Bank. And that uh, program focused its efforts in the rain fed areas of rice production in, in Asia. Uh, and we embarked on a number of projects because we had funding from the bank. The people said we were crazy, they would never work. One of those is flood tolerant rice happening around the Luna today. It's certainly something that, that is relevant. But now, uh, 15, more than 15 years later, we have flood tolerant rice varieties that are being disseminated across South Asia. They're being adopted by farmers at a record rate. Uh, so that support from the bank uh, back in 1991 is something that is translating into real impact in the lives of, of the poor today. I think it's that visionary support that is so, uh, so important. Likewise, uh, the uh, Asian uh, Rice Biotechnology Network that uh, the banks have supported in a number of years. Uh, one of the products that came out of that network is uh, bacterial leaf like resistant rice varieties. And uh, not towards uncoins, exactly. The estimated impact of those varieties in China, the Philippines, uh, Indonesia, and uh, India today is, is estimated at $20 million per year. So think of the $20 million total investment of the area and just in one project, the impact is already quantified at $20 million a year. The impact of the flood tolerant varieties is going to be astronomical. So the, the, the bottom line is that the investments the bank has made in area as partners are tremendously good investments. <coughs> Another example of the, uh, the vision of the bank, banks are not only known for vision, by the way, so I'd like to compliment uh, again the bank staff on this, is supporting hybrid rice research. Uh, hybrid rice in the, uh, the mid-90s was considered to be something that really wasn't ever going to work in the tropics. But the bank uh, invested in that, and now we have a rapidly growing hybrid rice industry in the tropics. And the private sector is joining uh, is joining now uh, with Erie and with others uh, to take this technology to a scale that will make a big difference in productivity around the region. So those are just, uh, I think, a couple of examples uh, that, uh, that indicate that the bank partnership with Erie and with our partners has been extremely productive. And the Rice Suite Consortium, uh, as the Vice President mentioned, really has germination, uh, if you would, in the early 1990s as an eco-regional effort. The bank has been supporting steadily since then. And we see now, again, after almost 20 years of support, an outstanding record of accomplishment, very um, relevant technology being taken up by farmers, serving the natural resource space, and in a position to deal with some of the challenges that, uh, that climate change, uh, declining water availability, et cetera, are putting forward. So we're very, very pleased, very